What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share some of my Poshmark sales from over the past couple of weeks. So let's get into it. Alright y'all, so first up we got a pair of Brooks Running Shoes and these are actually the Launch 5 and this one isn't necessarily a super rare or expensive colorway by any means. The Launch 5 doesn't sell for a ton of profit but I still pick up Brooks Running Shoes anytime I can find it for a good price and I picked these up from a local thrift. I think I spent maybe 5 bucks on these and they sold for 30 I was originally asking 39 but a good offer came in for 30 and I went ahead and accepted that. And usually Brooks Running Shoes sell a lot better for me in the spring and summer so I probably would have gotten maybe 40 or 50 bucks for that if I just waited a little longer but it is what it is this one I'm pretty sure I'll come across some more Brooks running shoes and anytime I find them I usually do pick them up so definitely be on the lookout for Brooks next up we got a pair of Kobe's in that lower Marion colorway and these were really dope and I actually picked up two pairs of these from Ross a lot, maybe a couple weeks ago and the first pair sold on eBay and then this pair sold here on Poshmark for 149 so anytime I come across Kobe's and Ross I only gravitate towards the smaller side Sizes, those super huge size 15 and 16 they might sell but they definitely will sit for a very long time so I tend to pass on those but I was just I was just like pleasantly surprised to finally find some normal size shoes and these sold for some good profit so I picked these up for 40 bucks from Ross next up we got a pair of Nike Hyper Dunks from 2015 and this was in a dope orange and camo colorway and I had these listed for 30 and they sold for 25 and these did have some minor signs of wear, but these are from 2015, so the normal little scratches and stains are pretty normal for these shoes. But overall, still in really good condition. So if you guys come across some Hyper Dunks, I don't say always pick them up because some Hyper Dunks, um, they sell for like 10 and 15 bucks. But this colorway was pretty rare, so this one sold for pretty decent profit next up we got a pair of Prada sandals for women and these were weren't in the best condition these did have some minor scuffs and some stains on there on the leather but they they ended up sitting for a very long time I picked these up in uh, California when I was living in Santa Barbara and I had these listed for maybe six months and I had them listed for 60 bucks finally got a good offer of 40 and I went ahead and accepted that and I used to find Prada shoes at that point all the time. Nowadays, I'm hard. I'll be super lucky to come across some more Pradas out here. But it is what it is. Um, I'm just taking advantage of the other opportunities that's in front of me. But in terms of thrifting, I'm still trying to thrift. And I got some more thrifting videos on the way for you guys. Because I know some of you guys have been uh, dropping comments and asking for more thrift style videos. So I'll definitely get back to that soon. Next up, we got this Harley Davidson t-shirt. And speaking of the thrift, I picked up a bunch of Harley Davidson t-shirts. I picked this one up and this one as well. And I think I picked up maybe 10 all together. So some, of, some have sold on eBay. Some have sold on Poshmark. This one sold for 16 and I was originally asking 20 and this one sold for 17 and I was asking 20 as well this t-shirt in particular is actually the one that the buyer opened the case against me and saying that the shirt wasn't what they was expecting they said the shirt had like an inside out style to it as you guys can see from the ribbing on the collar but Poshmark sided with me and they released the funds so anytime you guys come across buyers that just have uh, buyer's remorse uh, lately at least Poshmark has been looking out so I'm definitely happy about that next up we got a pair of shorts and I picked up a ton of shorts from Dillard's when they were closing I got maybe a hundred pair of shorts and maybe 80 pair of pants if you guys follow the channel I'll put that video as so you guys can check that out but these shorts I think I spent a dollar 75 on average for all of the shorts and maybe three bucks a piece for the pants and I sold a ton of the shorts already to some local consignment shops just to get some of my money back really quickly but overall I've already made all my pro already made all my money back at this point I'm mainly just trying to make some more profit on these and I have a ton of these shorts available still so if you guys are interested send me an offer and we can work something out next up is another pair of these shorts as well I believe both of these shorts went to the same buyer Next up, we got a pair of Nike Air Max 95s in this dope Crimson Comet colorway. And 95s always sell pretty well for me. They usually sell pretty quickly. And I also got these from Ross. So I made some good profit on these as well. And that's why I like going to Ross because I'm able to find some really good high quality sneakers. Next up, we got a pair of Alden loafers. And these were sitting for a very long time. Um, these aren't the super expensive ones that's made out of Cordovan leather. Those might have even sold for maybe... 
uh, two and three hundred bucks. This was just a simple brown leather loafer, and these sold for a hundred bucks. So I was definitely happy about that. And I think I spent maybe seven or eight bucks on these. So I made some really good profit on these. And anytime I come across old and loafers, as long as they're in good condition, I usually pick them up. Even if they have some heel drag, I'll still pick them up because I know they can easily be resold. Next up, we got a pair of Nike Romelio threes, and this was in the triple black colorway. And I got these from Ross maybe two or three weeks ago, and it sold maybe a week after picking them up and i think i got these for 40 bucks and they sold here on poshmark for 110 and i also had i had a black and white pair that sold on ebay maybe two months ago for around the same price so like i always say i prefer to sell shoes 100 plus on ebay as opposed to selling them on poshmark only because of the fees but for me as long as i can make a sale and make some good profit i'll take that money and just carry on and last but not least we got this wilson's leather jacket and this jacket actually came out of the personal collection i had this for a while i actually got this jacket gifted to me from wilson's when i was doing some blogging for them and i just wasn't wearing this jacket as much as i thought i would so i put it up for 200 bucks and i finally got a good offer at 155 and i just went ahead and accepted it especially since the jacket was free and usually i do this any every once in a while i'll go through my wardrobe go through my sneaker collection see what i'm actually wearing see what i'm not and this one was one of those pieces that I haven't worn in over a year so I figured it was time to let this one go and I made some good money from it especially since I already got my wares out of it all right y'all that's all I got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one peace I should've never offered it I'm tight and now I'm off this I'm shit